night, uh, but you can leave those winter clothes in the closet a little longer. We're looking at a couple more days of this unseasonably warm weather, which I like a lot. I cannot get enough summer in my life. Uh, for fast service and dependable auto repairs, stop in at Murphy's Full Service Food and Fuel on Old Bass Lake Road. They're really cool people. My friend Chuck works there. Hopefully he's listening to the station right now. Hey Chuck, uh, free plug. <laughs> Looks like a nice, romantic evening alone, Frankie.
Sorry, Frankie, no romantic fire. What's your problem? I hope the generator still works. I'm still holed up here at the station, freezing. <laughs> Thank you.
love's turmoil. Oh, Mom. <laughs> As I said, And uh, you're, you're, you're still here. Um, would you like to come in for some coffee? It's Amy Harding. Remember Amy Harding? Wrong time to be starting a vacation, Amy. Uh, well, you, you okay, Mr. Peterson? Tourist season's over. It's the main season. Caught up here all alone. Well, um, what are you doing out here all alone? I'm, I'm not alone. I've got my dog. Oh, right. Florence, I remember her. Uh, have you seen her? I'm looking for her. She's lost. Uh, no. Um, but I'll, uh, I'll keep an eye out for her. You sure you won't uh, come in for some coffee? You're not listening to me. Forget about my dog. Forget about this cabin. Get out of Langdon. Why you still can? I can help you with today, young lady. Um, I left my can outside. I need a couple of gallons of fuel for the generator, and I need some mouse traps. Oh, all out. I'll have some tomorrow. I'll get the fuel. I'll be back soon. Thank you. Termites? Uh, I got something. What do they look like? The big ones or the little kind with those dealy mabobs on their heads? I don't know. I haven't seen them. They like cake, though. Cake? <laughs> Is that so? It doesn't sound like roaches. Well, it's good to take precautions. Don't want to leave your house with them in control. You come back next summer and they'll be running the place. You know what they say? If you see one, there's bound to be at least 20 more. Oh, terrific. So, what's with this weather? You know, there's a big storm coming, don't you? No. Right. Hmm. Got anything smaller? No, sorry. Five, fifty, sixty, eighty, one hundred. Is everything okay? you want. 
that, so I found your dish before we left. You were with me all day. Warning, avoid all contact with eyes and skin and do not use in vicinity of animals. Well, that's no good, is it, Frankie? Guess I'll just have to rely on you. Get in the bath with me. Go play in your new house. Go on. Shoo, shoo. you to guard the house earn your keep and catch those mice or whatever they are just don't make friends with them okay be back be good boy
Hey, uh, excuse me. You're, are you that uh, lady who just moved into the cabin off uh, Lagoon Trail Road? And who are you? Oh, I'm, I'm Marshall. Uh, sorry, I just I, I was working near there and I, I uh, saw, you, saw you drive in. You've been watching this girl with your binoculars, Marsh. Wow. <laughs> well, Dialdrin, amazing. <laughs> woo -wee. Didn't know you could buy this stuff without a license. Well, you can't. That bottle's old stock. But it works, so, hey, let the feds come get me. I'll say it works. And wait for that stuff, kill a dog. Not quite, but it'll put a rat out of its misery. You know, uh, um, I don't, I don't think so. Ah, look, it's simple, really. You just pop the stuff in here, put it on your back, and squeeze this little doohickey here. If you got a leak, you got leukemia, too. Goodness sakes, Marsh. Don't be so ridiculous. Just remember to hold your breath. And update your will. 22 for the traps. Oh. <clears throat> you know, I should, I should, I should really know about these things because I'm a field researcher. Biologist type guy. Ah, an expert, huh? Oh, I, I, I would, I wouldn't say that. You could say that, I wouldn't say that. How can I say? Come on, you piece of crap. Hi, uh, sorry, uh, you mind telling me what it is exactly that's, uh, bugging you? I mean, please don't say you are, because I'm a guy who just walks around all day talking to trees, and that'd really hurt my ego. <laughs> um, I don't know, I haven't seen one. They like cake, though. Cake? Oh, no. Why? Is that bad? Bad is that noise that just stopped coming from your engine. Want me to take a peek? Be my guest. My God! This engine's a mess. When's the last time you had the belts changed? I just bought this thing. I don't know. You just bought this? It, it only cost 500 bucks. I got a feeling that's only half what this repair is going to cost. Fantastic. That's just fantastic. Well, Marsh, what do you say you show this girl a little small town hospitality? Oh, yeah, sure, sure. Uh, sure. Uh. <laughs> Marshall Clark, biologist, taxi cab guy at your service. <laughs> Start the meter. I'm Amy Harding. Uh, so what are you doing in Langdon? I've been doing field research for the university out in the marsh. The past couple of months, the local ecology has been ravaged. Most of the wildlife has disappeared, just vanished. So is a lot of the insects, like wasps, crickets. It's fascinating, really. Really? I'll bet. I've tested for everything. Predatory bacteria, viruses, nothing. All the tests came up negative. No gross contaminants. Nothing unusual about the weather pattern. And yet, there's something seriously wrong. <sighs> nothing I've seen so far matches this devastation. Come. Sure. What are you doing carrying this around in your pocket? Well, that's just 
Oh, it's just something I found recently. I thought maybe it was connected to the... <laughs> to the trouble. Wait a minute, I think I saw some of this stuff in my shed. Really? Yeah, it took like an hour to wash it out of my hair. Hmm. Long story. Hmm. Might have something to do with your, uh... Your pest problem. Really? You think whatever's causing this devastation is... in my house? Oh, I'd like to take a look around if that's okay with you. Should I be worried about this? Ah. Cat. How'd you know I have a cat? I'm allergic. Well, I suppose we'll just uh, get to work then, eh? Great. Okay. Frankie! Here, boy. That's you. What a sweetie. Don't call me sweetie, okay? It's a personal thing. Sounds like a huh? personal thing. <clears throat> Thanks. Uh, uh, the, 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 these things, they were in the kitchen and outside. They weren't here, so let's check the kitchen. I'm just me and Thor. Check the kitchen. Thanks. Yeah, okay, yeah. They must be eating his food. I beg your pardon? Frankie doesn't eat that much. You want a cup? Sure. Oh! What happened? It bit me. Something bit me. What the hell was that? Whatever it was, it must have escaped into the wall. Oh, look. Got any disinfectant around? Uh, in the bathroom. <clears throat> oh, just remember, it's more scared of you than you are of it. Ah, here we are. Oh, God. Uh, Amy, uh, um. What? You're going batshit. Damn. Must have just missed it. I've never seen prints like these before. I mean, I've seen prints like these before, but not like these. That's it. I'm leaving. First, my car breaks down. Something. That's it. Amy. That's a fascinating shot. Then some thing kills my cat. I found this about two weeks ago, not far from here. Look at its feet. It's got claws. They're all out of whack. And it's got teeth. The sucker has teeth like a little shark. So what? Geckos don't have teeth! Well, something in this house has teeth! Not geckos! Some lizards, yes. Geckos? No! Oh. Don't you see? It's becoming a more efficient predator. It's evolving. Well, I would like to evolve towards the car. Amy, I can't take this into the lab without any further proof. I just laugh it off as an abnormality, a fluke. But if I can find whatever made those tracks, then I'll have proof there are others. Fascinating. Something's messing with the natural order, right? Genetic engineering or something. I don't know, but whatever it is, we gotta catch it. 
I am not going to sit around here while you play Dr. Doolittle. There's, there's nothing to be scared of to get a outweighed by at least 300 pounds. Here's the little bastard. Don't kill it! No! Don't kill it, don't kill it. I, I, look, um, you can't understand how important this is to me. <sighs> okay, 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 we'll kill it, but with poison. Uh-huh. The one sniffing your dead stuff? I was exaggerating. No. Just take that, okay? Be back in a second. Don't move, okay? Don't move. Where is it? Bastard. Where are you? My cat. This one's slightly more advanced than one I found near the marsh. Eye membranes and eyelids, ear openings. Lacertilia geconidae. You science guys are awfully smart, aren't you? A gecko, yes, but what species? Care. You ready to go? You just don't appreciate science at all, do you? Correct. You see, its feet are like a gecko, but its body's actually shaped more like an iguana. These are primarily warm weather creatures, deserts, tropics. How did you get here? Oh, shit. Oh, boy. It's a viperid. <gasps> Look at those fangs. That's why you opened your mouth, wasn't it? Mm. You naughty little boy, you were trying to kill me. I thought we outweighed it by 300 pounds. Wouldn't matter if we weighed three tons. Spits poison, blinds or paralyzes its prey. <laughs> this is usually only found in snakes, not lizards. This could be extremely dangerous. Can I ask you something? Are you like, um, the master of the obvious? Found one, bound to be 20 more, right? Could be. Hmm. Mind if I open it up for a look? Guess not. Nature is not kind. Yes, Daddy. No cassette player, huh? Well, this isn't exactly the fun to deal, you know. I use it mainly for work. Mm, don't tell me you get a Volvo at home. No, I pretty much work on. Okay, we shouldn't even be driving in this weather. You know, you kind of look cute when you're freezing cold. Kind of get a nice, uh, warm, ethereal, healthy glow. Really? Yeah. Thank you. Back on the road? I certainly hope so. 
Just down the road, okay? Yeah. Okay. his truck. Great. Did you make it back to your cabin? Right. Well, you know, if we tried to hoof it to the town, you know, we'd lose our toes to frostbite. Maybe worse, maybe even hypothermia. Although I do understand it's a very nice way to die. First, you can kind of get light and warm, and you get cozy. If my hands weren't so cold, I would give you the finger right now. on his cabin because it was the only source of warmth and food for miles, right? So? So all I'm saying is, in our absence, they might have taken over your place, too. Oh, we have to go inside. I can't feel my nose anymore. All I'm saying is, get ready for a fight. On one. Three, two, two one. Take much more of this. Can you hear anything? Nothing but my teeth chattering. I can't hear anything. It doesn't mean anything, though. You know what I need right now? A vacation? 
One of those cups of... Ah, soup? Soup. Cup of soup. Oh, oh, I keep having these images of those things eating Mr. Peterson. Oh, I'm so cold. I hate this place. I hate those things. Oh, why did I ever come here in the first place? I hated it then, I hate it now. Oh, God, I hate it. God, I hate it! That's it. Freak out. Freak away. That'll keep you warm. It's working. Don't worry about it. Don't, don't see the fire and they'll send a crew down. No one's gonna see the fire. No one's gonna send a crew down. We're stuck here. I'm not stuck anywhere. We'll be fine. Ah! It's all right. Okay? Yeah, it's fine. Forget it. Personal thing. Right. Boyfriend. Ex. Oh, well, that's cool. He's out of your life now, right? Right. Because then, this is now. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. What, what, what? Oh, my God. It's escaped. I thought you said it was dead. It was dead. It was dead. It wasn't moving. It wasn't breathing. It was dead. Ooh. Was it faking it? I don't know. Maybe it was dormant or in a coma state. You know, some some lizards produce stomach enzymes that can make, uh, you know, anti-venoms. Maybe it, it neutralized the poison before it could do terminal damage. Gotcha. Damage at your service. Uh, I, I, <clears throat> I don't believe in guns. What do you mean you don't believe in guns? This is this little crappy target practice thing. Here, you just pump, point, pull, like the chicken terminator. <laughs> Try it. Before it's dead now, but I'll make plenty sure about that. Ugh. Well, I think it was definitely dead this time. Ugh. Jesus, there's a lot of fur in here. thought highly improbable. What? This is, uh, this is, this creature has, has little anatomical details that uh, vary slightly from the you know, glands that I've never seen before in a reptile. Oh, no. What? Oh, no. dying so it had to carry out its one last instinctive impulse preservation of a species just exactly how many eggs are we looking for there bio boy oh ski bunny how many did you see at peterson's house Fix that. I've got just the thing. Give me that. Ah! 
Lizard? No. Coat hanger. God, I hate this shit. I hear that. some tracks here out of the bed. set of eggs. Must have hatched. Anything? Nothing. Saw some tracks under the bed, though. two before. There were three eggs under the bed. So how many does that leave? Uh, one. Two. Two? Yeah. Oh. That's okay. Let's go. Is there an attic in this place? if we try to attack. Uh-huh. So what are you saying? Can you hear anything? They're in the walls. Not for long. Here, give me that. Three feet long. 
Bullets were enough to kill one. So now it's going with thick skin to counteract it. It's acting like a virus. Whatever we hit it with develops an immunity within hours. It's not right. I bet it's those goddamn gene splices. Mess with rat DNA, why not lizards? Got a problem in your ecosystem? Just build a new type of creature to do away with the bug or worm or whatever the pest. Must have been a glitch. We gotta hit that last lizard with something it's never seen. We gotta stay one step ahead. And we gotta kill it before it lays any more eggs. How big can it get? You ever seen a kimono dragon? No. Ten feet long. Ten feet? Yeah. Wow. We'd be dinner. We dinner now. Well. Maybe, just maybe, he likes chicken. Hmm. So, how did you get into this kind of work? My father's a scientist. Oh. But your mom is too. Well, it's not a um, very common job running around the mud talking to trees. Must be in your blood, huh? Can you see anything? No. So is that why uh, you became one? Well, field researcher, not a scientist. What's the difference? Well, the difference is that uh, scientists get to change the world, and field researchers walk around, talk to trees, study mud. <laughs> Come on, you didn't want to change the world? <laughs> That a girl. But I showed it out the whole house. I thought it was dark in here. <sighs> oh. Well, at least that one's taken care of. Well, you know, it's gonna get really, really cold in here. Yeah. Oh, you think there's more eggs? Maybe. In the attic. Mm. One of us is gonna have to go up and take a look. Great. You up for it? <laughs> mm. Be careful. I will. But you better catch me if I fall.
What's going on up there? Um, nothing. Just taking care of business. We won. Beat those crazy lizards. Now all we gotta worry about is how to survive the cold tonight. Right. This is about staying warm. Period. Understood? Understood. through my system. Oh, you know, the cold probably killed off any of the creatures we did. If this outbreak had happened during the summer, they would have been impossible to contain. We're really lucky. There's a car. Amy, the car's coming. Hey, excellent. Oh, we've been stranded. You wouldn't believe it. And a four-wheel drive, too. Fantastic. Did you see the fire? Oh, of course. There we go. Is it Alex Hayden's house? Secrets from me, darling. 
your family's little dream house. Where else would you run? Well, it's time to stop dreaming, darling. There is home. You are dead, honey. But not until you tell me where my money is. Where is my money? It's not your money, it's my money. I earned it. Hey, Yuri, I believe we can talk about this like civilized people. Oh, God, it's you again. Yuri. Alex. Alex. Amy. Whatever. Is she really worth it? Hmm? Don't shoot him, Yuri. It's what? In the bedroom, in the closet, under some clothes. Thank you, darling. I knew you would come to the senses. It's in the closet. My money. Stay here. Don't move. A little smile. Good. What? Money! Eggs. Hatched. All right, you clowns. Let's go. Ow, 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 ow. So what is this? Is it purity of a joke? Hmm? Oh, you had it. You better believe you have it. Oh. Oh. If you don't mind, it's getting warm here. Oh. Stay there. Make yourself comfortable. It's time to die. So, Marshall, Frank is picking. I'll miss you. Honestly. Harry? No. Tell me, tell me, where is my money? Now. Or Mr. Minnesota gets flunked out of life. Look, look, I don't know anything about any money, okay? Didn't you tell him? Did you? <laughs> so, here is the story. This so-called lady, whose life you are trying so valiantly to defend, is only a thief, a grifter. We play hotels around Chicago, you know, run scams on out-of-town clientele. So she was the front, I was the muscle. No, 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 darling, stay with us. Stay. We had a very profitable business going, until she left me with a great amount of company's cash, my money. And let me tell you something. Nobody, I mean no fucking body, drops from Yuri Romanovsky. You got that? Look, all I know is if we stay here, we're dead. You two obviously have a lot to talk about, so let's do it outside. You told me, honey, is this guy bulletproof? Because he's done just almost everything but beg me to give him a lead haircut. <sighs> you got three seconds, honey. One. <laughs> Selfish, isn't she? Two. <sighs> what? Any last words? Yeah. You're loose. <laughs> Communicating? That is one ugly red. God, I love that. Yeah! I got to get out into the country more often. What do you call those things? I don't know, they're... Aberrations. Aberrations, I love the sound of that. The cash baby, quick. Cause I'm having a great time pulling this trigger. In the attic. Wait, wait. There might be more of them up there. He's right. Get down. Come on, Marsh. But we'll fetch it. Just do it. Just do it.
amazing. This generation wasted no time at all. What? What do you say? Oh, nothing. Where is it? In a money belt next to the tackle box. Must be at least a dozen eggs up there. Now I suggest that we just torch this place and leave. Okay? You suggest. Move. I suggest. You shut up. Stay where you are. Don't move. Well, first of all, it's wet. And it's a bit light. I know. You forgot this. Five shots. Be careful. Is it true what he said about 
you being some kind of criminal? Well, anytime you feel like sharing something with me, Amy. Or is it Alex? I suppose now would be a good time. He seems such a nice guy, too. Such sociopathic charm and wit. Kids? Marshall, leave it alone. I'm not proud of my past, okay? I came here to get away from it. Well, I'd say it paid you dues. Yeah, I've paid my dues. My house, my cat, $50,000, and two goldfishies worth. Disappointed me, you know that?
Plug him in. What happened? Accident. Big accident. Count your blessings. You're lucky to be alive. It must be 20 below out there. She needs a doctor, a hospital. Matches, matches. Give me some matches. You know, don't you? That bastard, you know. What, what is it? Oh, you got me pretty big in there, haven't you, you little mutant? You must think you're so clever. But you never quite adapted to the cold, did you? Yeah, so you're cold inside, or it's warm. Well, I got something to warm you up. Don't. Please. The poor girl, we could call an ambulance. They'll bring a doctor. It's a little late for that now, don't you think? Wait. Oh. Got any guns? Big ones, Magnum, shotgun. No, no, I can't let you. Don't kill her to kill it when it comes out. No guns. Tell me no guns. This town's sportsman's paradise. I don't sell guns here, just fishing poles. Fishing poles. I'll just have to. Come on out, little guy. I got a little 
present for you. Come on out, little squirt. Nice try. I've evolved. Right. Got it now, baby. Oh, yeah. Come on, you want some? Ah, come on. Come on. <laughs> that move. Oh, you think it's so bad, huh? Oh, yeah. Welcome to the bottom of the food chain. Okay, if I 